Out of all the characters in the Pokemon universe, Charizard has to be one of my favorite. And one of the most challenging things I find drawing this character is capturing a cool dynamic pose. So today I'm going to guide you through each of the steps that I use to draw ink and color in the most easiest and simplest way. Let's begin today's lesson by blocking out the basic pose of our character. Starting on the top left side, we're going to lightly sketch out a circle for the head. Going all the way around, and back up to the top. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect because we're just using this as a guide. Now we want to curl the neck coming back down towards the body. Starting from the top of the circle, go around towards the right, come down and just bend that in towards the bottom. Now from here, I'm sketch an oval coming down at an angle. Starting from the base of the neck, go all the way around towards the bottom of the body, and then back up towards the top. Let's add some thickness to the neck. Starting from the top, I'm just going to curve this out, pull that in towards the top of the body, go to the right side of the head, just thicken this up, coming across towards the left side. Now from here, we're going to raise the left leg up in behind the body. Let's we'll start up here, curve the thigh going up, come down, and then back in towards the body. Let's add the foot along the bottom, curve this out and down, flatten off the end, curve that up and back in towards the thigh. Let's add the right leg on top of the body. Starting from the bottom of our oval, start by curving this up and then out, come around towards the bottom. This is almost like drawing a half oval, and just round up the knee. And we'll pull the foot up underneath the thigh. Starting from the inside, start with a straight line going in, round up the bottom of the foot, flatten this off, and then curve that back up underneath the knee. Now we're going to go back up to the top of the body and position the arms. Let's start over on the right side. We're going to start with an oval, the socket of the arm. From the top, draw a straight line going out towards the elbow. Sketch a small circle on the end. Now I'm going to bring the arm coming down towards the wrist. Sketch a small circle for the hand. Let's go back up to the top left. Curve the arm going up and out towards the elbow. Sketch a small circle. Go straight out towards the hand. And add another circle. Now you want to add some shape to the head. Let's start over on the left side. We're going to draw a curve coming down and then back up on the right. Now this is for the eye line. Over on the left, angle is down and out. Flatten out the end of the beak and then go up towards the right side. Now you want to open up the mouth. Start from the top corner, curve this across and then down. Round out the bottom and pull that back up underneath the beak. Now we're going to separate the head in half. Starting from the top of that circle, curve this out towards the left, and then down, and goes down and out. And it'll draw the bottom edge of the brow. From this point, step over towards the left, and goes up and out, go over towards the right, go to the right side, curve the eye coming down and then back in. Let's add the two horns along the top of the head. Starting over on the left, Angle this up, and then bring that back down. Just going a little bit wider along the bottom. Go over towards the right. I'm just going to layer this on top of the head, and then come back down. Now that we have the position of the body, let's layer the wings in behind. We start on top of the body, over on the left. Curve the wing going up across the head, towards the top. Bend the wing going across and down. And do one more bend coming down toward the tip of the wing. And then from here, curve the wing going up and then down. Go up and back in towards the body. Let's go on top of the right shoulder. Curve the wing going out and up beside the neck. Go around and pull that back in. Now it's going to layer this across. Going down, across the arm, and then bend that back out. Let's go back up to the top of the wing, round out the side, coming down, just pulling that down and in towards the bottom. 
and it'll swing the tail out on the left side. Starting from the bottom of the body, going across the leg, and bending that back in. Now I'm just gonna taper this so it gets wider as we come back in towards the body. Now I'm gonna add the basic shape for the flame. Starting down here, put this up, down, and then back up. Go back to the inside, and down and up towards the tip. Now from here we're gonna add a second level of detail. Let's start with the left hand. Start from the top of the circle, draw a small oval, just overlapping the edge. Go to the other side, put this out and up. Round this out and come in towards the claw, and then bend that back up towards the top. Let's add one more claw along the bottom. Coming down and out, curve the claw coming in, and back up towards the top. Let's draw in the right hand. Starting from the top of our circle, curve down and in, down and out, and pull that back up. Let's add two more claws along the bottom. Coming around and in, pull that back up. Now from the outside, we're gonna draw one more claw, going all the way around. Let's add some shape to the right arm. Starting from the bottom of the elbow, curve this in and then down across the body. From the outside of the elbow, come down and in towards the wrist, and curve the outside. Now I'm gonna go back to the center of the body and add that patch. Starting from the left side, go around, and just bring that down on top of the thigh. Now that we've established a rough sketch, we're moving with a fine tip marker and start detailing this out. Let's start with the inside of the brow. Just using these light sketch lines going across the eye, going up towards the top. And we're just adding some more shape to the bottom of the eye, going out. And tuck the iris and pupil in underneath. And just work our way down toward the bottom of the mouth. And adding the tongue.
I'm just going to blend that flame in towards the tail. And now we're adding some more shape to the wing. And we point along the top. And thicken up the inside ridge. And once we're done our inking, we'll go back and erase our sketch lines. And just like a coloring book, we'll start filling on our character, starting with this orange. I'm just going to feather this out towards the flame and continue along the top. I'm going to give our character some shape by adding some shadows along the inside of the body. So start on the right and then feather that out. Now we're using a dark gray to add a shadow underneath that ridge. Let's add a shadow along the bottom of the body. Now for that flame, we're going to start with a bright yellow in the center and just fade that across towards the outside. 
And then with our orange, we'll just feather that in. And we'll blend that out to the edges with a red. And as you get near the end, I'll tighten up my shading and always be sure to sign my drawing. I know one day I'll look back and see the progress I've made. I had a ton of fun today and I also learned so much about this character in the process. If you want to improve your drawing skills, then you may want to check out this video over here and don't forget to subscribe. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.